In other news, Mitsubishi extended a formal apology to American POWs for forcing them into labor during World War II and is set to provide compensation to forced laborers in China. But the Japanese firm says the situation is not the same for Korean laborers. Our Kim Jeon explains the strange logic of Mitsubishi. An outside director of Japan-based Mitsubishi Materials Corporation drew the line when it came to extending an apology to Korean laborers. In an editorial to the Sankei Shimba Monday, Yukio Okamoto said the legal situation of Koreans is different from that of other prisoners of war, such as the U.S., Britain, and Australia. Okamoto argued Koreans were technically Japanese citizens and were treated the same as all Japanese workers during the period. This is in stark contrast to the corporation's apology to surviving World War II prisoners of war and family members in the U.S. last week, as well as its stance regarding Chinese laborers. In the same Sankei article, Komodo said the company views Chinese laborers in the same light as American forced laborers. He did add that it would take longer to resolve issues with the Chinese, as descendants are suing for financial reparations, a reference to the company's settlement announced last week to pay 16,000 U.S. dollars per person in compensation to 3,765 victims of forced labor in China. Korean civic groups say the private corporation needs to discard its double standard on wartime atrocities and requested that a similar apology be made. Korea's Gwangju High District Court ordered Mitsubishi Heavy Industries Limited in June to pay five Koreans a total of $482,000, which the company appealed. It's estimated nearly 6,500 Koreans were forced to work for Mitsubishi-owned companies since the country was colonized by Japan in 1910. Kim Jeong, Arirang News.